the season isn't over. You still have a chance to, you know, still accomplish your goals. But just kind of what was the, the attitude, kind of the, the, the mood in the locker room after that? Um, you know, of course, people was hurt. You know, we haven't experienced any losses like that in a long time, especially at home. So, you know, just really, um, you know, just trying to pick everyone up, keep their heads up, um, you know, knowing that, you know, people aren't perfect. Um, you know, it's just football at the end of the day. You know, we all still breathing um, by the grace of God and, you know, just still being able to walk and, you know, um, you know, prayers up to Scott. Hopefully he's good. But, you know, everyone else came out, you know, pretty healthy, um, still able to walk and, and move around. So at the end of the day, you know, you know, the, the attitude is still positive, still there, um, and we still, you know, have a lot of football left. Going off that, you guys still control your destiny in the, uh, in the division, kind of mindset going into next week. Uh, just go dominate, you know, put this one, put this one behind us and, uh, you know, come in tomorrow, watch the film, and then come Monday um, and, and start over, you know, and it's a new season because um, it's a one-week season and uh, get ready for Wake Forest and, you um, know, you know, hopefully we can, you know, clinch the ACC and uh, punch our ticket to Orlando next week. Can you take any comfort from the game that you had 588 yards, I mean 580 yards, ACC record, you know, it's a performance people haven't had around here ever? No, it's all good, but at the end of the day, you know, my main focus is trying to get the W. Um, you know, I just wanted to win. You know, I could have went 0 for 30 and, you know, zero pass yards and, and get the W. Um, and, you know, that's all that matters. And, you know, it's just a lot of, you know, we made a lot of plays and, you know, we made, did a lot of great things. But at the end of the day, we, you know, made a couple of mistakes that kind of, you know, kept them in the game. And, you know, give credit, you know, to Pittsburgh. They came down here and earned it. You know, after a tough loss last week at Miami, they came down here and, you know, they didn't shy away from the challenge. And they, you know, you got to give them credit, you know, and, and um, you know, they just came in and, you know, outplayed us and made more plays at the end of, at the, end of the game. And, um, you know, that's... Pretty much it. Were you surprised in the final two plays that they took the game kind of out of your hands and, and went ahead with the runs instead of maybe letting you try to make a play? No, nah, I mean, that's, you know, the, the coach's decision. Um, you know, there's a, a real exclamation or, you know, reason behind all that stuff. Um, but we're not going to get into that. But, you know, we, you know, had two chances. And, you know, they, you know, Pittsburgh stood up and, and you know, you know, out physical with us and, you know, they made the plays and, you know, we did it. That's that's pretty much it. You got to win your matchup. Down on the goal line, you, you were looking for Jordan. What went wrong on the play? Which one? Uh, the interception. You know, I just, you know, laid across the middle and God made a play. That's, that's it. Could, could you sense the momentum shift? You guys are about to go in to take a, a two touchdown lead. So could, could you sense something change there in the game? Man, you know, they made the play, went down and scored and capitalized on it. You know, that's, you know, that's all that matters. So, you know, they did their part and we didn't do ours. Was there any conversation about that fourth and one play at the end of, you know, whether it was a good idea to go for it? I'm sure as a competitor that you wanted that opportunity to go and, and try and convert that fourth and one to seal it. I mean, you know, you just want to compete. You know, it's, a, it's a game of matchups. And, uh, you know, we didn't win our matchups. You know, we wanted to, you know, seal the game. Uh, you know, regardless if, you know, they was going to stop us or, um, you know, it was going to get the first down or, you know, if we punted the ball, you know, even though the, you know, they was going to have to gain more yards, but, you know, still had time on the clock. Um, you know, we just wanted to, you know, try to seal it. Um, but, you know, that's, that's kind of out of my hands and, you know, leave that to the coaching staff. I know against NC State, you said when that kick went up that you had, no, you know, no doubt that it was going to miss and you were getting ready to go back out of the field. What, what was going through your head when that kick went up tonight? You know, hopefully shank it, um, you know, and then come out with the victory. But you know, the guy, the guy nailed it. He didn't, you know, he didn't fold on the pressure, and um, you know, he just, you know, won the game for him. And, you know, pass off to him and his coaching staff and the guys that was, you know, blocking up and, and holding the ball. When this is rehashed tomorrow, people are going to point to the two interceptions in the end zone. How do you respond to this now? How do you come back from that? I don't really care what people say. At the end of the day, we're not perfect, and you know, I try to be perfect, but you know, I'm a human being, so you know, people are going to make mistakes. Uh, you know, it's a learning lesson. Uh, you know, it's, everything's not going to be all you know, a beauty pageant. Um, you know, I'm going to learn from it, watch the film, and, uh, and just move on. You know, I don't really care what people say, regardless if it's good or bad. Uh, you know, I just you know, do what I got to do and handle my business, and I uh, try to get the W. So. Deshaun, a lot of guys in that locker room haven't had to come back on Monday 
after a loss. How do you try to keep those guys focused on what you guys got to accomplish? I just keep, you know, moving forward and, uh, you know, just, you know, don't <laughs> shy away from the adversity, uh, the criticism, you know, just run to it and, and you know, it really, you know, adversity doesn't, doesn't, you know, it, it brings out who you really are and your true character and, and how you really handle it. And, uh, you know, we're not going to shy away from it. We're going to attack it and go back to work and uh, get ready for wait for us. For you guys, you're able to gain 630 yards, but the turnovers do you, do you win. As you go down the, the stretch here, what do you guys have to do to, to clean that up so that it, it doesn't cost you down the road? Just make plays. Make play, without interceptions? Without just, just make plays. I, mean, I know where, you know, I, I know where you're coming from. Uh, you know, you always want to talk about the negative things. I've experienced that, you know, the past two and a half years. Uh, you know, just, you know, it's, you know, everyone that sees the interceptions or the, the fumbles or things like that, you know, we just got to, you know, take care of the ball and make plays. It, it, you know, people have, I think, probably all year because of the close game said, this doesn't look like the same Clemson team as last year. What does it feel like from your perspective inside when you're, you know, putting the game plan together and going out and practicing it. Does it feel like last year? Does this feel like things are not clicking that way? And things are clicking. You know, we just got to, you know, capitalize on opportunity. You know, at the end of the day, we're not, you know, like I said before, we're not perfect. You know, the game is not going to be always a blowout. Um, you know, people game plan just like us. You know, the other team is on scholarship. The other team has great players. The other team watches film. You know, we have the same amount of time. So, um, you know, we're not a team that, you know, a, a team overlooks and just kind of, you know, half ass throughout the week and, and prepare for it. Each team wants, you know, to dominate and, and come in and beat us. And, you know, that's what, you know, Pittsburgh did. You know, they came in and game plan and they made some plays and, you know, they, at the end of, end of the day, they made the last play to, you know, seal it off. So, I mean, you know, at the end, it, it, it just, you know, each team, no matter who we're playing against, is going to give us, give us, you know, 100 Hundred percent. So you know, we just got to go out there and, and go capitalize and, and, and play ball. How emotional was today nice for one, you, from the, the senior day stuff at the beginning through, you know, the back and forth of this game to the way it ended? How, how emotional has today been for you? Uh, it's been crazy, um, but you know, I've enjoyed it. Something it all in. Uh, you know, I'm still gonna keep a smile on my face. Um, you know, of course, this loss it hurts. Um, so, you know. You know, it's senior day, but you know, I'm still going to keep my head high, walk, you know, walk with a smile on my face. You know, this doesn't define me or this team or anyone, you know, that was a part of it. So, uh, you know, we're going to continue to move forward and, uh, you know, and, and be the you know, best we can be. All right. Thank you all. Thanks, Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean.